Hello, my name is John McCoolis, and I'm the WFMJ TV21 Chief Videographer. Uh, I just wanted to give you a brief rundown of what I do day to day, uh, how I ended up here, and what you can expect if you become or look into the field of broadcasting in general. Like I said, uh, I'm the Chief Videographer here at TV21. I've been with the station for almost 25 years now. Uh, my broadcasting career actually started back in high school at WKTL in Struthers uh, as a high school student. I hosted a weekly sports talk show, did play-by-play -play for basketball, that kind of thing. So my start was really in radio way back in high school. From there I moved on to Westminster College where I got a degree in broadcast communication. Uh, they did a lot of hands-on stuff which to me is very important if you get into the field of broadcasting, especially if you're going to be a videographer, photographer, you're going to want to know your equipment inside and out. Uh, I did do an internship at TV21 for a year over in the sports department. As uh, you get into different fields, whether it's broadcasting or anything in general, I think an internship is a great way to get your foot in the door. Also, to really know if it's the field you want to get into is to uh, go through an internship program. Some of the classes I think that are important uh, when you're in school, uh, we do a lot of crime reporting, a lot of things in the courts, and a lot of political reporting. So some of the things you'll need to know is how the court system works. Also, maybe take a political class or two so you know the difference between a congressman, a state representative, a senator, those type of things. So when you're doing your story, you know what you're talking about. Uh, you have to know a lot of things uh, in broadcasting, not just the technical end, but also the soft skills of who's who and, and those type of things when putting together a story. Uh, as for my day-to-day -day and what I do on an everyday basis right now, uh, I come into the station, I report at my uh, start time. Uh, the one thing I do is check my assignments. Each day I'll either have a package, a VOSOT, or a VO, uh, either by myself where I'll go out and interview a person and bring the whole story back, or I'll work with a reporter. And the way I do that is I find out uh, we have an assignment board up in the newsroom that lists all our assignments. So I'll check that out. I'll see which reporter I'm working with for the day or if I'm working by myself. From there, I'll discuss the story with the reporter I'm working with, with uh, for the day to see what form it's going to take, and we head out. Uh, we'll sit down and interview people. Uh, I'll get some footage for the story, and then come back. I will edit everything for the 6 o'clock news. My shift right now is uh, during the day, so my daily deadline is 6 o'clock. So it can be very fast-paced because uh, I need to get my story done by 6 o'clock. Sometimes I'll work all day. Uh, eight hours or so on one story that's only maybe a minute long where that's I have to condense down all my footage. Uh, while I do cover most of the Youngstown area I have gotten the opportunity to travel really all across the country. Uh, some of the bigger events I've covered is Fashion Week in New York City, uh, the Super Bowl down in New Orleans, uh, and the most recent World Series that the Cleveland Indians were in. I uh, traveled to Chicago to cover it there. I also was in Cleveland uh, to cover it uh, in Cleveland. So it was very exciting for me to cover those type of things, uh, but those stories aren't something I do every day. Uh, every day I go out in the community and talk to people, so you're definitely going to want to be a uh, outgoing person to get into the field of uh, broadcasting. Uh, within the station here there are all sorts of other jobs, assignment manager, someone who keeps us all organized, obviously reporters, producers who put the show together, all the way up to the engineers that work upstairs in the uh, studio itself. All our studio cameras are robotic, so I don't really do any work up in the studio as of right now, but uh, that's something the engineers control from the control room. Uh, of course, you have the on-air talent, weather people, we have graphic design. So in broadcasting, there are all sorts of different uh, careers. So if you do have any questions about uh, career in photojournalism or videographer or anything in broadcasting in general, feel free to reach out to me. I'll be happy to answer any questions you might have.